Hello ladies, hello queens. I am here with a special Facebook Live and I'm at my little meditation space. And what I wanna talk with you today is, you know, are you paying attention to the signs, but is something still missing? So are you, you know, noticing little nudges from the universe, little signs saying like, yes, I deserve love, or yes, I want love, and yes, you know, love is coming for me, and maybe he's here, maybe he's there, maybe this party I'm going to, you know, I'm gonna meet my guy. Um, but here's the deal is sometimes we get so wrapped up in the signs that we start spinning our wheels. Like, how bad does it suck to know intuitively that your your king is on his way but then have months and years go by and and nothing's really happening or or worse you know you're attracting worse and worse guys and and it really is annoying to see all the signs from the universe but then nothing big is happening like you know a little bit here a little bit there and i see this all the time with women that they're very spiritual very attuned and pretty in touch with their intuition but there's something that's missing there's a gap between seeing the signs and then actually getting into a great relationship and especially if you tend to attract men who are narcissists or men who take advantage of you sometimes if you're deeply spiritual and have a huge heart but aren't connected to your body or your sexuality or your feminine or your discernment and your sense of power, you can actually attract these sort of men that want to sweep you off your feet, but then kind of leave you cold and it doesn't end up being a really significant relationship or it never ends up leading to commitment. And I don't want that for you because you should be respected and admired and cherished for your spiritual gifts and your connection to source and your connection to yourself instead of manipulated for it. But you know, here's the deal is that I spent a lot of time in the clouds kind of, you know, paying attention to signs, meditating, you know, pulling cards, doing all the things. But it's kind of like if you had, if you were having a heart attack and you were driving down the highway and all of a sudden you started having chest pains and you saw a sign for the hospital, you wouldn't just keep driving and go, oh, a hospital's coming. <laughs> You'd get off the freaking freeway and you would find your way to the hospital. You would drive to the hospital or you would call an ambulance or something. So the same thing happens in our love life. So this is why this might be happening for you, why you might be seeing a lot of signs, but then nothing's really happening is that when you see the sign, you still have to take action. You know, the fact that you're watching this video is something that you can take action on. You know, the fact that you're participating in this group is something you can take action on. But just seeing the sign is not enough. Now let's all agree, like we are feminine superheroes and we can manifest anything that we want, but it still has to be in human flow, in 3D reality. It starts, you know, in the cosmos or wherever we wanna go with it, but it, it translates into 3D world and that's where so many women get stuck. They have a vision of what they want, they're connected to their intuition, but it's not going anywhere or it's getting worse and primarily because they're seeing the signs, but they're not sure the right action to take and how to translate those signs into what they need, into clear, concise action. So I've got an invitation for you. You know, imagine what it would be like to not only see a sign, but then to see it come into fruition, to be able to manifest that sign and manifest the energy of that instantly or, or very, very quickly. You know, what would it be like to feel that you had total skill and mastery of flirting and dating and online dating and relationships and being in your feminine? So not only is it, you know, a divinely inspired idea, but it's something that you're totally rocking in your life. How amazing would it be to attract a man who's super spiritual, but also totally has your back and is an alpha and can protect you and can provide for you in many different ways. Like how amazing would it be to be spiritually aligned and be a good union of the masculine and the feminine within each other, but also within your relationship? Like what would be possible for you to create in the world? I think it'd be freaking phenomenal if every relationship was at that level of mastery, skill, devotion, and integration. It would completely change the planet. So my invitation for you is to take action. You know, this view this video as a sign. View the signs that you've been getting that yes, you were meant for love. Yes, you are a woman of love. Yes, you're uh, deserving of being an amazing relationship. And book a call with me or my team. These 45 minute breakthrough to love calls are amazing. Women rave about them. You're gonna get total clarity on your blind spots, your patterns, what's holding you back. And then also what you want. You know, what is this divine union that you're wanting to create and how can you become the woman who really inspires and creates that partnership by not only seeing the signs, but by taking the right actions. So I'll put a link in the comments, but it's violetlang.com forward slash talk. And when we get on that call, you know, if we decide that it's a good fit, we may invite you to join our program or we may not.
you know, who knows? It depends on if we feel like there's the right match there. But either way, you'll get a lot of value and clarity and fun. So stop just looking for the signs. Notice the signs, but then take inspired action. Don't wait for things to get worse and worse before you finally wake up. And uh, I will see you soon on one of these videos or on that breakthrough call. Mwah.